Welcome to Ripcaster, my name is John Nelson. Today we're going to be looking at the latest Lynn Climax DSM. The product was launched uh, worldwide uh, on the 26th of March on Friday and our unit left the factory on Friday afternoon and it arrived with us this morning on Monday. Uh, I've not opened the unit uh, so we're going to open it together and, and have a look. Uh, so uh, without further ado Let's have a look at the product. So here it is. This is as, how it arrives to us from the factory. First thing to note, uh, it's a slight deviation from the normal Lynn packaging. Uh, so gone are the brown boxes and we now get this kind of stealthy black uh, screen printed uh, uh, with the uh, Climax branding and obviously a hint of the, the dial on the top of the unit. So this is as it arrives. A few shipping stickers on, on this one. And on the front of it, just looking at the stickers, uh, the model number in this instance is CLI DSM slash A slash 3. So this is the version we've got here is the AV version uh, of the Climax DSM. The other thing to note is there's a sticker on here which tells me the weight, which is 22 kilograms. And that is uh, pretty heavy for significantly heavier than previous generation Climax equipment. So... Let's open the box and uh, see how, uh, how we get into it. So there's, there's various plastic locking nuts here. If I take those out, this will allow us to get into the product. And then, at this point, I believe I can just lift, lift off the top. Here it goes. Okay. So, what do we have in the box? Uh, we've got a mains power cable, UK in this instance. Uh, we have got uh, a Lin. I assume this is a Lin infrared remote control. Indeed it is, uh, so as with all the products um, you can control them using the app uh, with an infrared remote control and on this particular product with the one well, the new Climax DSM uh, with uh, the, the touch controls on the on the top of it, the physical buttons and the rotary dial. What else have we got? We've got a pair of unbalanced silver interconnects and last but not least the uh, safety information which I will obviously read and digest uh, okay so that's the kind of internal packaging uh, so now I guess if we lift this off Aha, uh -huh, there we go. So now we can actually see the, the product. Uh, it's covered in a, a film, but I can already see it is beautiful. Um, so yeah, it's got some kind of protective film in it. Give it a quick spin. Uh, so if I can take this off okay so it's a bit like uh, clean film or something similar just to protect the product okay wow that looks Amazing. Uh, maybe you can't quite see that, but I'll, I will bring it up and have a look shortly. 
It's got a, a glass mirrored front. It's got this uh, clever, beautiful detailed dial on the front. And a series of buttons, but uh, we'll have a close look at those in a minute. Okay. Let's bring this so you can have a look. Crikey. And the first thing to notice is that is very heavy. Um, I'll bring this towards the camera so that we can have a look. As you can see, highly mirrored front on it. And if I bring it up like this, in front of the camera, you can see the base of the unit. You can see the on-off switch. I can't hold this for much longer because it's very heavy. And you can see at the top there the Lin logo and the person we have to thank for building it. Each uh, Lin product is has a single point assembly, single station assembly, and I've now put it down because I need to take a breather actually. Um, <laughs> so uh, each unit has um, is, is made by a single person, and when they're happy with it, fully assembled, they write their name on the base of the unit. Okay, so I've now put the uh, Next Generation Climax DSM as its full title on our little turntable here, and we can give it a quick 360 spin on our turntable so you can get to see the product in a little bit more detail. It's obviously available in uh, the silver that we get here or in the, a black anodized finish. Um, so let's have a look at what we get on the back. As I mentioned, this is the Climax Next Generation DSM uh, AV version. Uh, and so let's just go through each of the connectors that we've got on the back of this unit. So over here we've got our mains input, obviously. Uh, the top board here is, is all analog. So we've got three analog inputs, two unbalanced and one balanced uh, pair of inputs. Uh, and then over here we've got the outputs. So again, two unbalanced and two balanced outputs. And the lower board here is um, the digital section, I guess. And we've got a USB, we've got a conventional uh, wired ethernet port. Uh, and there's next to it, there's also an alternative optical ethernet port to provide better insulation, uh, signal isolation between the device and the rest of the network. Uh, another USB input, uh, TOS link, uh, two SPDIFs, uh, they're, uh, can be configured as uh, both inputs or one can be configured as an output. Uh, we've got uh, exact links next so that allows us to connect to Lin's uh, fully active speakers so Climax 350 exact or Acubaric exact or uh, Acudoric exact speakers or Series 5, Series 3 uh, as well as to their external uh, exact boxes which are smart digital crossovers. Um, so those are exact links and again because this is the AV version we've got an HDMI section here which allows us to plug uh, TVs and games consoles etc into it so we can get the benefit of our uh, hi-fi uh, sound system uh, for our AV products. Then if we go around the front of the unit on the front, we've got a series of, of very, very nice buttons, even through my gloves. Uh, these are programmable buttons, which we can allocate to be a source. So let's say my LP12 turntable, or uh, favorite radio station, okay, BBC Radio 4, or uh, my uh, favorite uh, Tidal playlist, okay. And those can be soft programmed, etc. And then on the top, we've got this uh, rotary uh, and tilt dial, uh, which you primarily function is for volume control, but by tilting and pressing, you can also get source selection, etc. 
Uh, as I mentioned, there are effectively three variants of this product. There's the one that we've got here, which is the AV version. There is a, an audio version only, which is exactly the same as this with the analog outputs, but deletes the, um, the HDMI inputs. I guess that's for a more, uh, let's say, audio purists who don't, don't envisage connecting it to any kind of uh, HDMI sources. And then there is uh, the product called the Climax System Hub. And this looks exactly the same as this, but it, it deletes the uh, analog outputs. So it's a digital only product. It doesn't have any DAC in it. And we'll, we'll talk about the DAC uh, shortly. So uh, as well as launching this brand new style of case, the Another significant milestone for Lynn is that they have developed their own DAC. Uh, so these are the first products to contain this. It's called the Organic DAC, entirely in-house designed um, and claimed to give uh, superior performance above and beyond what they'd previously achieved with uh, Catalyst, etc. So I look forward to, uh, to hearing this product and, uh, and verifying that. Okay, I think if I switch to, uh, I've got a slightly different camera angle here so we can look at the top. Uh, you can start to see some of the, the details on the dial here. Uh, it's a beautifully made product and, and I love the way that they have, uh, uh, so it says Glasgow, Clyde Built, Lynn Products Limited, Clyde Built, Glasgow, which I think is a, uh, a great, advert for, for their engineering skills and the history of that part of the country. The other thing that we can see on this shot, maybe you, I hope it's coming out, is this beautifully machined finish on the top, kind of reminiscent of uh, grooves on a record. So you've got this smooth section here and then it goes into these, I don't know, milled or CNC'd machine uh, uh, milling on the top, very, very uh, attractive finish. And then in the back corner here, you can see details of the Lynn logo itself. Again, that's CNC'd into the top of the casework. Very nice detail. Okay, so that's the brief uh, tour of the product. I think what we'll do now, I've got a mains cable and uh, Ethernet cable, uh, I think we'll just plug it in and, uh, and see what happens. In goes my Ethernet cable. In goes my mains cable. Okay, so I've uh, slightly altered the camera position now. So I've got one of the top dial and one of the front. I've got my cables plugged into the rear of the unit. And if I switch the unit on here, here we go. So we get the light on the top dial there. And what we should see is as the unit's booting, you get the twinkling of the LEDs around the outside. And when the unit's ready, the, the center Lin logo will illuminate. Uh, when it's connected to the network, that will be white. If it's disconnected from the network, it'll be red. Uh, the unit's obviously got Wi-Fi as well as Ethernet built into it. Uh, so you can connect either using Wi-Fi or Ethernet as we've got in this particular instance. So it's still booting now. And when the center logo like that, it means the unit uh, is now ready, ready to go and we should be able to, to play something. Uh, if I alter it, so I've turned the dial, and now you see on the front face, you can see the Lynn logo and the organic DAC. Now goes into the playlist ready to be played. Also notice that the, the Lynn logo, Lynn product name is, is illuminated. Uh, so it's now on our network and we can now con control it using uh, the usual Lynn apps uh, on PCs, Macs, iPads, iPhones, Android devices, etc. So there we, there we go, that's a brief overview of what the product does. We've be, briefly powered the unit up and had a quick look. Um, 
I think one thing, one, another thing to, to as we note about it is the actual dimensions of it. Lynn have been very smart about this in that this product looks the same with and fits the same styling as the previous generation product. So behind me I've got a rack of um, uh, existing uh, amps, etc., and the original uh, Climax DSM. Uh, if I just uh, swap this one over, put this on over here. You can obviously see that the, the current width matches the older products in the, in the rest of the range, so it matches up quite, quite nicely. Obviously, the Climax DSM is the, the flagship product. There's now a family look and feel to, to them, so we've got the other products in the range, if I bring those over. So we've got Select. So this is the modular system, again the same kind of design styling with the buttons, with the clever control. This is a plastic fascia with a slightly smaller displaying it. Still got the three uh, feet on the bottom. This is a folded uh, aluminium case. So that's a select, as you can see, the family resemblance between the products. The next one up uh, that we've got is the Magic DSM. This is the entry level product in the range. Again, similar styling, similar uh, display in the front. No dial on this one, but the same buttons and a volume control is on this rocker switch here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed our brief Climax DSM unboxing video. Next step for us is to plug this in to some amps and some speakers so we can actually have a listen to it. And I, I welcome you to come and uh, visit Ripcaster when we reopen in April to come and have a look and a listen for yourself. Thanks for watching.